Number 992,521, stay with your forte. I have a client that's a really good scalper. Not all the time, but but when he's hot, he's just amazing. And I'm a trend follower. So if I'm trying to do like an intraday trade, I want to get in as close to the open as I can. And I want to hold that all day long. But he's in and out, in and out, in and out. And I just can't, I can't let go of a stock while it's moving nicely in my favor. And then I end up with a loss, but he's in and out a dozen times. And and I'm not built that way. I can't do that. I don't want to become that. I, as I, I did try a little bit just to see if it could be done. But when the market's really trending, I need to be trading. And when it's not, I need to be sitting on my hands. And that's, you know, I need to write that down. That's a that's a 995,231. <laughs> you know, sit on your hands when the market is not trending. Let the market come to you. Trade your methodology, right? So I just grabbed the service and AMSC, I did take partial profits on this one today in the model account. I usually try to let the model account at least hit the IPT, but it was just getting fairly close over a short period of time. Semiconductors were getting whacked, just had this frothy feel to everything. And so I said, you know, I think it's okay to take partial profits. And we're looking for a thousand dollar profit on the first low. So if I got eight or nine hundred, somewhere in that range, that's cool. And it's the second loaf where the real money is. Now, none of the stocks in this portfolio have hit the IPT, although ULS did come fairly close today. I'll probably look to take profits in that one. If we stay a little bit at or where we are now, I think it might be worth going after as far as taking partial profits. So that's the open portfolio. And we've had a pretty good run as of late. So I grabbed some trades going back a couple of months or a month or so, whatever. Now, this one was opened up in March. We actually take a look at this one in just one second. Oh, by the way, here's that NNE. Unfortunately, it did stop us out, 127. I think we were up over 300% at one point. And uh, that's another story altogether about taking a little extra par partial profits on that. But I was trying, and trying to be the key word, to hang on for a huge run. Uh, I'd much rather have a stock like K&F that we rolled for months and months and months and did really well. And I, I obviously, had It'd be great if it was continues on and rode for years, okay? As opposed to a, a kind of a bottle rocket flash in the pan like like the NNE. But anyway, long story on this point I'm trying to make is you can see based on these numbers, knock on wood. Come in. Uh need a new joke. We've done fairly well as of late. I cut it off the top so it would fit, but this is a the hypothetical 100k account. It's always 100k in the account. For my hypothetical basis to keep the math easy. And I'll give you the spreadsheet if you want it to track your own trades, that is. And so it'll, if you put your account size in, which is up here, which can't where you can't see it, it'll calculate the number of shares based on 2% risk per trade. So on a 100K account, you're risking 2%, $2,000 if stopped out. You're taking profits when you're up 2% half on on the trade itself okay now that you might be up 13 percent or half might be in this case was off uh let's see 18 percent on this particular trade so it's going to vary based on the volatility of the stock but anyway so stick with your forte so so this is a reminder to me hey dave this is where the real money is this is what you've been doing for 30 years i think maybe longer <laughs> this is what you need to focus on okay so stay with your forte and it's hard and and I think one of them is be beware of trade goads. I don't know if I have that in here. If I don't, it should be because it's really easy to get sucked in to trade goads, especially when you're seeing somebody that's actually trading, actually making money.